After a near defeat in the hotel sector by a crushing economic downturn some years ago, things have begun to take a turn for the better. Instead of closed down properties, hotels are expanding and developing, even hiring. This is as a result of government's efforts to restore a stable economy and working with the Grenada Hotel and the Tourism Association to create an atmosphere for business growth. Annette Moore visited the Mount Cinnamon Resort, where upgrades are being done to expand its room capacity. You feel that there is a there is an energy and there is a there is a passion towards anyone who's serious about creating jobs and build bring in development here. Our goal is to have the right things in place to be able to market the destination. Somebody has to invest. In total, we spent about forty million dollars invested here in Grenada um, between two thousand and six and two thousand and eight. Well, when you think of hotel expansion. You're thinking of a wide number of ways in which it can benefit the economy. It will give us more inventory, which will certainly be fantastic during our high season here, our peak periods. There are many De Savry properties around the world, owned by English entrepreneur Peter De Savry, a beneficiary of Grenada's Citizenship by Investment Program. Around 2006-2007, when the De Savry Group came into Grenada, the plan was to build a much larger hotel here at Mount Cinnamon, um, along with uh, the marina and the marina investment at, at Port Louis. Port Louis Marina, since then attracting investments from Camper Nicholson, has boosted the marine and yachting sector and generated incredible financial rewards, while other investments like the 24-acre, villa-styled Mount Cinnamon Beach Resort in Grand Anse has benefited the tourism sector by increasing room stock. So once we have expanding room, room stock, um, we're, we're really happy to see that in Grenada and currently we have 2,095 rooms across the Tri-Island State. Colomore thinks Grenada needs at least 1,000 new rooms within the next five years. Although the global recession caused a pause in rapid expansion within the hotel sector, the government of Grenada introduced a program that proved to be a game changer. And that's where the government stepped in with the Citizenship by Investment Program to allow um, viable projects like ours and like the others um, registered and licensed under the CBI program to have access to capital to be able to expand to be able to create jobs to be able to really provide a, a stimulus uh, for the economy. There are lots of funds available around the world and basically they have investors who are interested in coming in and why shouldn't Grenada be part of the investment program? In September 2015, Grenada was ranked first globally as having the most appealing citizen by investment program, achieving top scores for the simplicity of the application and the efficiency of the processing speed. Colomore credits the government of Grenada for providing an enabling environment for expansion. What we find most helpful with the government is just the efficiency with which um, things are done. We almost have no delays with, uh, with approvals. The partnership between the private sector and the government uh, is, from our point of view, very strong. We feel well supported. Colomore thinks this will encourage other investors to come. De Savary's latest expansion project at the Mount Cinnamon Resort began a month ago and will continue for the next 18 months. We are more than doubling the size of our hotel. So right at the moment we have uh, 21 villas and uh, through citizenship by investment we are building 32 more uh, brand new um, five-star uh, luxury suites uh, which should come into operation uh, at some time uh, within the next 18 months. This is a great in initiative. It will give us more inventory, which will certainly be fantastic during our high season here, our peak periods. We're not just building um, regular hotel rooms, we're building uh, self-contained suites. Um, they're going to attract a higher level of, uh, of, of room rate, the room rate is going to be much higher. 
um, the type of person that you attract. Once you talk about expanding Roomstock, it then puts us in a situation where we can then negotiate for um, added airlift to Grenada. Our client is diverse in terms of geography. The UK is a very important market for us, as is the US. Uh, with the increased airlift we've seen this year. Currently, the U.S. market is our largest source market when it comes to stayover arrivals. So we are offering something which is really spectacular, really superior in terms of luxury and style. These are villas. So the villa market is also different from the, the hotel room market, if you want to put it that way. And this will be a new product into the market. So another reason for travel agents and clients to uh, keep talking about Grenada, because that's very important for us, uh, any marketing that we do. It is important for us to always be sure to improve quality standards, um, service standards, for us to make sure we have diverse quality products. You attract uh, the more discerning traveler who's going to come to Grenada, who's going to uh, pay a higher room rate, who's going to spend more in the restaurants, who's going to spend more on shopping, etc, etc. The major increase in occupancy at Monk Cinnamon is expected to have a significant impact on job creation. When you talk about expanding the room stock, you're also talking about employment. Um, so you're looking at persons employed in the construction phase. You'd expect that the staff too would be more than doubled. So you, you could easily create uh, another 50 to 75 jobs. You're talking about taxi drivers, um, tour operators, restauranteurs. Collimore said that the vision for Monk Cinnamon involves providing continued good service along with controlled growth and development. Make it extremely competitive. Uh, we're building in the hillside. We haven't even touched the beach side yet, but we'd like to see a fantastic uh, really beautifully designed hotel on the beach. We'd like to think of it as becoming the number one property in Grenada and, uh, and the Caribbean and uh, one of the best in the world. With investors engaging in tourism development projects in Grenada, supported by superior marketing strategies, Grenada is well positioned to take full advantage of expansion in the hotel sector. We're very excited to see this and we at the Grenada Tourism Authority, we want to of course congratulate them and we are here to continue to market and promote um, our tourism products. And I think it really is Grenada's time now and I think, I think that in 2019, 2020 and, and beyond, um, I think we will see a, a, a real um, a, a type of energy in our tourism sector that we haven't seen. Look at this year, look at, look at this last winter season. We, I think every single hotel has had an amazing, amazing winter season. So it does put us as a better place as a tourism destination um, in terms of really marketing our destination. For State of Affairs, I'm Annette Moore. This is